So what we're going to talk about today is someone who is interested in whole life insurance. However, he was recently pitched on a whole life insurance policy and wasn't interested. He said, no way, this isn't for me, the option that he was shown. However, he's still interested in whole life insurance because he knows that something is there. He's got a friend who has a whole life insurance policy. His friend set up a policy for cash value. He was specifically interested in the core benefits of the cash value. So if you're not familiar with that, with the whole life insurance policy, the core benefits of the cash value is number one, it's a safe area you can put money, meaning it keeps on going up no matter what happens in the market or economy. Number two, it's very liquid. What that means is that you can access it a lot like a personal line of credit. So if you have experience with borrowing against real estate, it's a lot like that. And then number three, Everybody likes this. You can use it tax-free if you do things right. So that's why his friend uses the policy and that's why he's interested in it. However, again, what he was shown, he said, no, I'm not interested in doing that. The benefits that come with the cash value are not worth doing with what, doing what I was presented. So what he did not want, which is what he was shown, is a policy where he was locked into a high premium meaning you have to pay a very high premium every single year. Is that something that you're attracted to? Or do you like the idea of being committed to a high dollar amount? You have to pay it, pretend you've got a high auto insurance premium. Is that appealing? No, it's not. That's how he thought of it. So he wasn't attracted to that. Number two, he made this comment, it takes forever to get my money back, somewhere between 10 to 15 years. So. What that means, if you feel like this or you hear someone say this, is let's pretend that that high premium he has is $10,000 per year. So every year, he pays $10,000. If he says, it takes 10 to 15 years to get my money back, here's what that means. $10,000 per year is what he's paying. By year 10, if he's paid $10,000 every single year, how much would he have paid? $100,000. 10,000 times 10 is $100,000. So taking 10 years to get your money back, what that means is by year 10, you've paid in a total of 100. And by year 10, you finally see $100,000 in cash value. All of the years before that, you saw that you had less than what you paid into the policy. Does that make sense? All right, cool. And then number three, he doesn't want to pay into the policy forever. When you hear the word whole life insurance, how long do you think you have to pay premiums with that policy? Your whole life. A lot of times people think that. However, you do not have to do that at all. So we're gonna look at two examples of a policy. We'll look at policy A, which is one, with one company, and then policy B. And we're going to go through how he can get a policy similar to what, a, what his friend has and not have any of these. So instead of using a temporary red marker, let's cross all of them out because that's what he does not want. So what we'll look at first with option A is a policy where he funds different amounts. And we'll go through exactly what he's committed to and how he can fund the different amounts. Then we'll go through how it's flexible. Because again, what did he not like? When we go back to those three bullet points there. Number one, he didn't want to be locked into a high premium. He still wants to be able to add a lot of money. So how can you set it up where you're committed to a small amount, you don't get this big bill every year, but then, then at the same time, throw more money in. So if you've got some extra cash, or maybe your business produces additional cash flow, or you sell a piece of property, you have money and you want to add it into the policy for the core benefits, safe, liquid, and tax-free, can you do that? Meaning, can you add more than just what your premium is? Yes, you can. And then, how do we fund for a short period of time? We've got five years. We'll look at 10 and five years in this example, just to demonstrate the fact that you do not have to pay into it forever. So let's look at this first, and here we go. So here's a policy where he is paying into it $10,000 per year for 10 years. Okay. Here's what we got. On the left, we've got the year, then his age, starting at 33 years old, and then annual outlay is the total amount 
that he's planning on paying into the policy. $10,000 and then total funding is the total amount he's paid into the policy over time. So for example, year one, you pay in, you pay in 10, total amount you've paid is $10,000. Year two, you pay in 10,000. Now that's 10,000 plus what you paid in the first year, which is why the total is 20, because that's how much you've paid from the first year. Does that make sense? All right, sweet. Then what's highlighted in yellow is when you get your money back. I like to call this the break-even point. So for example, year five, your total payments since day one are $50,000, and this is the first year you have $50,000. That's why that's highlighted in yellow. Remember the reason he didn't do it initially? The second reason? Because it took 10 to 15 years to get his money back. And he said, no way, I'm not doing that. And usually in those examples, you see zero in the first year. So this is not that, obviously. So this displays 10K per year. Here's an, another example. If he pays 30 per year, same policy. And now I've got 30 per year going in. A lot of similarities though, right? 30, first year, 26,000 in cash value. Year four is when you get your money back, which is when you've got more than what you've paid in. And does he pay into this forever? No, it stops after 10 years. So do you have to pay into it forever? No. Does it take 10 to 15 years to get your money back? No. Are you committed to a high amount? So let's pretend for a moment that you said, you know, I'm comfortable with 10,000 per year, but some years my business does really well and I think I can add up to $50,000. When you see this, so this is 50K per year for 10 years, how much do you feel that you have to pay every year? Probably that, because that's what's on the illustration, right? We're gonna pull up the actual illustration in a second. But you've got the 50K per year going in here. Break even is year four. Okay, that's good. That's when you get your money back. But here's my question to you. I know you're new at this. Are you committed to that, that $50,000? That goes back to that flexibility. And one of the points that he raised as far as what he was not interested in, I don't want to be committed to a high premium. So what you can do with a policy, and this is how we set up almost every policy, is like this. Let's make this a touch bigger. There we go. So this is the policy we just looked at. This is the illustration, one page from an illustration. Like It's like stereo instructions, right? With all the numbers going over, go, with all the numbers all over the place. But I'll hit on the main points just to show you exactly what you would be committed to if you said, this is what I want. So there's the 50K per year for 10 years. This is exactly what we just saw in Excel. You'll see your cash value, which was that column in green, and death benefit in gold. Everything will match up. Exact same policy. Here's the thing, though. This $50,000, you do not have to pay this every year. You can even set it up where you're not billed for the full amount. Up here is your premium. Actually, these two combined, so if we just round, it's about $5,000 per year, just a touch more. So what that means is you have a policy where this can be set up literally where you're billed for this and you pay that $5,000 once per year. You could even pay it over 12 months if you said, I want to commit to a low amount that doesn't stress me out financially. And then everything else, going up to 50 per year, you can add at your leisure with this company. And what I mean when I say add at your leisure is you can set it up where again, you're funding this every year. And then your goal is to add 50, which would be what? Another $45,000. Keep in mind, I said that's your goal if you wanna hit 50. So what that means is you could set it up, or here's how you could do it. You'll have an online account, or you can go into your online portal, transfer money from your bank account to the policy. 
You can set up automatic payments. If you're old school, you can mail in a check. It could be by a wire transfer. Very, very simple. The same is true if you want to get money out through your online account or through paperwork, you could set up a loan where funds are sent from the insurance company to your bank. But that's another topic about loans. Main point I want to illustrate here. 50K per year, this is his high-end amount, which he loves how the numbers look, but what scares him is being billed for 50,000 every year. Does that make sense as far as only being committed to five per year and then being able to add up to 45? Cool. Fun stuff, right? See why I like this so much? <laughs> All right. So let's continue on with what we had. I said five years earlier. I didn't show that to you. So watch this. So here you've got the option on the left we just looked at and then the option to the right. And before we look at all these columns, just focus on this with me. Your year five, here's your cash value, here's your death benefit. Your year five, here's your cash value, here's your death benefit. Any difference in value? No, exactly the same. The reason why is because these two policies are the exact same policy. I was not an art major in school. The difference <laughs> is here, you're not paying anything in. Or here, you continue to fund it. This is meant to demonstrate the flexibility piece because he didn't want a high premium, so he's not committed to a high premium. He's committed to, to about 5,000 per year. He also didn't want to be obligated to make payments for a long period of time. So this is meant to demonstrate the fact that he could stop after five years. He could stop after two years with this particular policy if he funded 50 in the first and second year. So a policy can be set up where it's very cash rich, which is what he wanted. And we've got flexibility to vary the funding every year. The so five year minimum, you can actually fund between five and 50 every year. So it's not one or the other. Say you have a decent year and you want to throw in 30K, maybe it's year three, you could do that. So you can have fun with it, make it very, very flexible. We're using it more like a high yield savings account where we throw money in at our discretion. That was policy A. Make sense? All right, let's look at policy B. So in this example, what we're going to look at is funding a policy with 10K per year where he looked at that number and said, that, that I can handle. He actually mentioned five to 10K per month. So 10K per year is not challenge, challenging for him based on where he is right now. So that's not difficult, but he's comfortable there with starting with a low dollar amount. We'll look at an example. We can pay into it for 30 years. Here's the thing on this. He's 33 now. 30 years will take him into retirement. 63 years old. When we showed him, when I showed him an example where he paid into it for 30 years, he's like, all right, so I pay this much money for this long and here's what I got, funding it for a long period of time, like that, that wasn't sitting well with him. He saw it on paper and felt, I have to pay it that long, don't I? Like, actually you don't. So we'll look at how we can overcome that. But what's neat about this is we can Look at a policy where we can stop early, but again, it can be the exact same policy. So this way, we can set it up so you can do what you want, 10K per year, have flexibility to scale it down if you want, but at the same time, have flexibility to stop after five years, maybe it's 15 years, whenever. This way, you're not locked in to having to pay into it for 30 years, because he's been on this planet for a little bit more than 30 years. Hence his hesitancy there. Does that make sense? Kind of see where he's coming from? And again, he was pitched on whole life insurance before, said no, and a big reason why is because he thought he had to pay into it a long time. And a reason why is because that's what he was told from another insurance agent just in having a conversation with them. So there's a lot of information out there and it can be difficult to understand this because there's so many companies, different rules and such. So let's demonstrate it. 
What we'll look at here is a different company. And here's the 30 year example. So if I said you can fund it $30,000 per year or 10,000 per year for the next 30 years, are you comfortable with that? Maybe. Do you ever get nervous about that? Like, hey, what if life happens and you can't pay anything? And this is relative if you're looking at not 10K per year, but 50K per year, maybe it's 100K per year. It could even be a million. There's one individual that comes to mind. He set his policy up, to plan to fund a million per year. He did that for the first two years. And then after that said, you know, from a cash flow perspective, I'm directing some of my money elsewhere right now. I still want to fund this, but we scaled it down to about 100K per year. What's the point? It's all relative. It's just adding a zero or two or taking it off. 10K is a nice round number. So I hope that made sense if you're considering a bigger dollar amount. But let's take a look here. So again, first year, you're paying 10. First year cash value. $9,100 and change. So you have a lot of your money up front plus the life insurance. When do you get your money back? Your break even point. Highlighted in yellow between years four and five. This is a different company and product than what I uh, just looked at. So now let's take a look at the same policy, but stopping after 15 years. So when you look at these two, what do you notice? Well, you get your money back at the exact same time. You know why it's the exact same time? Because it's the exact same policy. You don't have to pick option A or option B because they're both option A. All we're doing is demonstrating what it looks like if you fund it for a shorter period of time and really showing that you can stop early. This gives a lot of people peace of mind. I remember when he saw it, he was like, huh. He didn't quite say it like that, but it was one of those moments where, yeah, I got to pay into it for my whole life. Then wait a minute. I don't have to do that. And here's actually what he saw. When he saw this option, he was more, what he said was, so after five years, I don't have to pay anything into it. It's like, no, not at all. We stopped all together. And when we compare it, what also happens? It's the same across the board difference here is we just stop. Now, he could pay 2K per year, maybe it's 2K one year, then 5K, then back up to 10. He can adjust as he goes. This is meant just to show 30, 15, 5. We could make two years. It answers that question he had. Or the objection he raised as far as not wanting to pay into it forever or a very long period of time, he doesn't. That's why we showed stopping payments early or funding early. So now his viewpoint on whole life insurance has, has changed quite a bit from not being interested to being interested and wanting to see additional options. What he's particularly interested in is funding a policy. He's figuring out the exact amount and then also seeing it in the back end because what you can do is instead of just pu putting money in, you can pull money out from an income standpoint, which is really what he's interested in. Anyway, I hope that this video made sense. I do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please let us know in the comments, hit the like button and subscribe for more. And as always, I hope this helps. Thanks so much. Hey guys, Steve here with IBC Global. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you're interested in a whole life insurance policy and you'd like to work with our company in setting it up, please visit our website, ibcglobalinc.com. We would love to work with you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, I hope this helps.